I'm really fascinated about the, the power of micro decisions to make a team really believe its leaders that they really want to be customer centric. Because in my opinion, this is the reason why some companies don't become really customer centric because the team does not believe its leaders. And, and you know, there's so many small things that, that aren't the best way to convince your teams. Like I'm often invited in half day brainstorms or in events where the management is trying to convince the team to become more customer centric. So then they hype up everyone and say, okay, let's have a half day brainstorm about customer experience. Everyone is super excited. Everyone walks in with high energy. And then someone from the leadership team gives a presentation. And the first thing you see is let's start with some facts and figures. And you see all these Excel sheets and all these numbers and of course those are important, but if you organize a half day about customer experience and you start again with the financials, then people just know that number one for you are the financials and number two is customer experience. They know that you don't have that focus on customer experience. And, and it's small things that, yeah, create a disbelief at a certain moment. I like in the PowerPoint presentation, the leadership is saying, let's go the extra mile for customers. On the work floor, they say, well, don't let customers run the factory. So what do you need to believe at a certain moment? Uh, and, and it's small things, small habits, small sentences that really make a difference if someone will believe you or not. Uh, like if a mistake happens and to solve the issue, it means that you have to give something for free to the customer. How do you react as a leadership team to that? The answer to that proves a lot to your team about how you're really thinking about customer experience. Or it's super busy in the store if you're in retail. What do you do? Do you tell people to work harder or do you join the team to say, okay, today the priority is to make our customers happy. I need to be on the floor today. Uh, when you say customer service, guys, is really important. How many days a year do you spend in the contact center yourself? Uh, or how many days a year do you actually talk to a customer? Those kind of habits, that micro behavior, is what people see in here. And it's that micro behavior that really let them create belief or disbelief. Uh, customer service is important is what you hear as an employee, but how often do you have discussions with the teams of customer service to learn about new customer needs? Uh, the power of micro decisions. So I see a lot of people that try to convince their team you don't need to convince them. You have to make sure that they believe you. And they believe you because of the micro decisions and the micro communication that you will do. And that defines if your team will follow you in creating an excellent customer experience or not.